Then these release a new CPU called the Ryzen 5 7500F, and this thing is going to have insane price performance. This thing has an MSRP of 180 euros, and compared to other CPUs for around the same price point on the Intel side of things, this thing outperforms likes the i5-12400, i5-13400, and i5-13500, which all are more expensive. AMD decides to launch a CPU a couple of months back, it would have been a really bad option because DDR5 memory was like really new and that was like insanely expensive. And because AM5 only supports DDR5, if you want to get likes of this CPU, you would have to spend upwards of 180 euros for the CPU itself, and then how much DDR4 versus DDR5 cost, let's say 60 versus 80, you spend an extra 20 euros. This thing costs like 210 euros to get just a CPU because AM AM5 supports DDR5, if you understand that. Now DDR5 memory is pretty much on par to DDR4, so saying that isn't really necessary. Probably the main reason why AMD were able to keep the CPU so low is that this CPU does not have integrated graphics. This is the only AM5 CPU that doesn't have integrated graphics. It isn't really much of an issue because if you have a CPU of that low tier, getting integrated graphics would be like terrible. So this isn't really back towards GPU shortage because GPU prices are so good now you can get like a 6400 for like 150 euros. Now do you just fine, it's like on par to 1650. And if you want to go even more you got like a whole bunch of options that are really really good. Sadly this chip is only available in China but when it ships worldwide it's definitely a really good option to buy for price performance. If you liked watching this video then please subscribe and comment any suggestions how to improve the content because I have like 200 subscribers I'm not big at all. If I stutter a lot that's because I stutter a lot.